first of all sometimes it's the right thing to do sometimes you don't really have all the ability and the capacity to to hold and to contain all the feelings and the emotions of of a situation and this is why automatically our nefesh our spirit is denying certain things and hiding and blocking certain feelings from us and our awareness is not perfect but uh, as a next step as much as you are able to deal with and to understand you should uh, allow yourself to feel the sorrow and the pain for the failure in the task and in the mission of that uh, wonderful person friend of yours that uh, could not find the powers to continue the war and battle and, and fight all the way it's it's our loss it's not his loss it's our loss when when a soldier from your unit is uh, is falling in the battle this is something that uh, that all the rest of, that will affect all the rest of of the soldiers every one of us will feel that lack The, the main question is what we do with this knowledge you know if like let's say now you heard that your friend just killed himself and it's very painful and you don't really know what to do with it and like the main thing like it wakes you up to to be grateful for having less problems than him or like or he had but the main thing is to know that there are people in worse condition than yours uh, like we didn't pay enough attention to him or we were not able to 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 recognize his problem maybe he was not sharing whatever like we were not in touch enough or whatever but there are many other people around us in the world that are in similar situations and they all in the need of our help as much as we are able to to go out of our comfort zone and to assist them and to save their lives that I, like for me, that would be the only main and only conclusion thought that that I would go out with to change my actions or to improve my work based on this uh, such painful and horrible experience that cannot even be be talked. You know, it's like who knows what's going on with his family, with his closest ones. Like we're talking about it from such horrible distance but there were people that their lives were so based on him attached with him my son has a, a friend that his father killed himself like 15 years ago or something like that and he like barely remembers his father and he was he was told that his father died in a car accident while he actually committed suicide in their own house and like only when he was a teenager he started hearing uh, rumors about his father and what really happened from friends parents and stuff like that like people who and uh, and this kid is like so lost and so like in so much pain and does not uh, not able to deal with situations he's terrified and lost and using drugs and alcohol all the time and lonely and broken and doesn't have no one to count on and like searching and not searching for help and so it's like when we see those harsh situations there is one and only thing that we need to do it needs to try to find out ways how to reach out to those people and how to to hand over as much as we can from our wealth, from our wisdom, from our life experience, from our success, so-called. It doesn't have to, you know, charity does not have to come from a millionaire. Okay, so what are you doing? How will you go and benefit? No, that's not enough. How will you go and change lives of other people? That's the question. 
how will you take yourself out of your even if it is a, a, a real spiritual or emotional process of understanding and healing that you go through that it is like accepted by me and honored by me and respectful by me and the question is if you take it to actions because if you don't take it to action so like we need to take care of ourselves but if we are only for ourselves in the end of the day so what are we so you you i'll tell you what you can do for an example you can make a list of lonely people broken people that you have on your phone and just call them once a week like have a schedule of calling broken people and like spend five ten minutes with them over the phone just hey how are you what's going on was thinking about you and just like reaching out to those people who knows in what situation the creator will use you to be a lifesaver or a very like cheering up personality in a very dark and gray situation in life. 